Hey guys, Winifred Rider, and welcome to Let's Play Super Mario RPG. Um, really quickly off screen, I just came here to the shop in Moleville and I bought um, I bought some maple syrups and I sold some of my honey syrups. Basically, maple syrups restore 40 FP instead of 10, and that's definitely going to be more useful, especially for well, there's a certain well, not really. It's just nice to have anyway. So if you come up here and talk to the mole, they'll say a star dropped into the mountain and trapped and trapped some kids inside. To make things worse, one of the men folk be stuck inside too. Please, Mario, gotta help us. Oh, there's actually one thing I forgot to do, but um, I'll do that in a second. What's happening up there? Is she working up with sweat? Yeah, and so are the men. Everyone's digging and digging. I can't keep up with them. Okay. Um. So apparently, Dinah and Might are trapped in the mines. Two kids are trapped into the mine in the mines, and people are trying to get them out. Um, and apparently they're trapped because two, well, a star fell, you know, from the sky. And gee, that doesn't sound like anything we're after, does it? Anyway, one thing I forgot to do is come to Rose Town. And after you have Gino, um, you can talk to Gaz here. And he'll say, Gino, you came back! Mommy! See, see, Mom, this is the Gino I was talking about. My, my, what a fabulous costume. It must be kind of hot for the person wearing it, though. Aw, oh, forget it, Mom. Alright, Gino, let's play. Oh, how I wish I could. But Mario and I must leave now to find the missing star pieces. Star pieces? You mean like shooting stars? What for? Well, how can I explain this? Alright, well, guess it's something like this. So, um, they're on the star road, and somebody wishes, and they grant their wish. See, this is how it used to be, but now, it's like, somebody, well, they're on the star road, and somebody gives them a wish, and they don't do anything, because they suck. Anyway, so that sucks. Do you get it? Uh, nope. You lost me. Well, let's just say that if your things stay the way they are, um, your wishes will never come true. What? So you mean even if I grow up, I won't even be as strong as and cool as you? No one's wishes will come true until the star pieces are found and the star robe repaired. Which is why I've chosen to find these two in order to find the missing star pieces. So, that's it. Well, Mario needs all the help he can get. I have a lot of dreams. Please, go fix the start rod and make sure they all come true. Okay, why is Mario gonna punch Gaz here? I have no idea, but... Um, that's a promise. Cool! Oh, wait, wait a minute. This is yours, Gino, so take it along with you. So he gives you a finger shot. Now, I already bought one, but I kind of forgot about this when I did buy it. But basically, instead of buying one at Moleville, you can just come here and do that and you get one for free. Um, it's not really, you know, I don't, uh, it's not like it saves you that many coins, but basically, it's just kind of cool to see the cutscene. Anyway, so I guess Dinah and Might are, like, suffocating in the mines here. I guess we better go help them for once. Uh, oh dear, I sure hope the kids are okay. I know how you're feeling, but moping around here ain't gonna help a thing. Okay, so she backs off and goes. That's what I told her, but I don't know if I'd be feeling any different if I was her. We're getting nowhere fast. We'll never reach the kids at this rate. See what's up there? That's the old entrance to the mines. But we can't reach it anymore. If only that fellow, uh, Mario were here. He could reach that in a heartbeat. What? Well, speak of the devil. Well, I'll be a Goomba's uncle. If it ain't him in the flesh, Mario, you're a lifesaver. Mario, have you heard the news? Sure have. Mario, will you rescue them? Of course. Thanks, Mario. He, uh, there's the entrance up there. Here, hop up on our shoulders. We'll I'll hop on your heads. That's fine. Anyway, so this, these are the coal mines. Basically, dynamite are stuck here, and you know that already. Well, there's a toad here. Hey, have you heard? There's a rare item hidden in the mines. If I find it, I'm gonna sell it to someone in town. I'm in it for the money. Well, that's all very nice. Anyway, so if you come over here and jump on this thing, you hit your head on the roof, and you die. No, you don't actually die, but it's nothing good happens. And Croco, what are you doing here? Coins, beautiful coins, grab the coins. Listen up, let's leave this half-wit Mario here and split. Anyone got beef with that? Well, I do. Croco, get back here with my coins. Uh-oh, they took the coins. Chase Croco and get those coins back. No! Um, yeah, so if you go on your subscreen, you'll see that you actually have zero coins, which really sucks, you know. Uh, basically, we just gotta, um, ch chase Croco around. Oh boy, it looks like a dead end here, but not to worry. Hehe, <laughs> I've got a bomb. Never leave home without him. So you just walk around with bombs on you all the time. Okay, that's not abnormal at all. 
Anyway, so this place looks kind of complex and overwhelming and looks like there's a lot of places to go. But actually, it's all really just one big circle. Um, and if you just keep going around it, you'll just end up looping over and over again. So you don't really need to, like, flip out or anything. It's fine. Anyway, so all you need to do is chase around Croco and catch up to him. And actually, if you want to do it, um, you could just stay in one place. And eventually, he'll loop around and you can just get him then. Um, anyway, so this is Croco for the second time. Basically, he has uh, 750 HP. Um, I find that the, the best thing against him is still Mario's fire attack. His um, fire orb. Um, I Don't even try Mallow's thunder or any of Mario's jumping attacks. Because they really, really suck against this guy. And, um... Yeah, don't try any of Mallow's things, like Thunderbolt sucks, HP, uh, Psychopath. Well, I'm not really gonna do Psychopath. I've shown it before, basically, you just see how much HP they have left. And actually, when I first played this game, I used to think, like, you know, when you use it, like, at the beginning, it shows how much HP they have. Like, for him, it's, say, um, 100, 750. I used to actually think that when you did, um, Psychopath, it actually did damage to them. And when it said 750, I honestly thought that it, it did 750 H okay, Mario's fire orb is really not working. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go on all out attacks here. Yeah, I think that's how it is. We're, we're kind of over leveled at this point in the game. Um, so I find that I guess normally Mario's fire orb would do a better job, but I guess just our offense is just um good enough that we don't really need to be doing that. Anyway, so at a certain point in the fight, he steals all of your items. Now you have no items, which really sucks. So, um, Mallow's HP rain can definitely come in handy here, um, because you don't, like I said, have any, um, HP. Or, no, not HP, but items. Anyway, yeah, so I kept thinking that, like, um, Psychopath, no, oh, that Psychopath actually did damage to the enemies, and I, and I always thought, like, holy crap, I actually did, you know, this amount of damage, and it kept just getting worse and worse, obviously, because their HP kept getting lower and lower, and I kept saying, lower numbers. I'm like, oh, why is it slowly dying out? And why are they taking so much HP of damage? I don't know. It's really weird. Anyway, I'll use um, Malo's HP rain. Basically, the time for this, if I haven't said already, you just hold Y and release it right as it gets silent there. Oh, no, I don't think you release it. I think you just press Y when it gets silent. Okay, so you don't hold Y at all. You just, um... You just press it when... Uh... It, when it when the sound stops like there's a little sound effect that plays when you do the the thing and um when you hear it get silent that's when you press it yeah you know that you did it right if it does more than 50 hp of healing and if you if it does a little sound effect um as you see the like it, it'll do a little sound effect if you, and you'll know that you did it right anyway yeah enough already here's your junk i'm out of here so he gives us our coins and our items, yay. Anyway, so he gives us 50 coins. Is that seriously all we had? Okay, uh, get the coins back and picked up a bomb too. So we got a bomb, and that'll come in useful in just a second here. Um, basically, what, what you want to do with it is come over here, and, um, oh, okay, ba bomb I don't think I've shown me fighting these yet. Uh, Mario's jump does a really good job on this. Like, you don't even have to do super jump. Basically, just a regular jump will do a really good job on these guys. They're really weak to it. As you can see there. Yeah, I can really use um, a lot of um, magic attacks at this point in the game just because I have so many flower points and flower jars clogging up my image inventory. Seems like you found yourself something mighty useful. My kid's dynamite are trapped back there. Let's blast through and find them. Whoa, thanks Mario. Now stand back and let me get things going. Okay, so he uses your bomb and opens the way. Let's follow the tracks to the end. What? The star is probably in the back. Thanks a million, Mario. Let's mosey along now. Oh, I guess you're right. I'd just be a burden on you fellas. Well, then I'm counting on you to find the kids, you hear? Well, thanks a lot, Mario. Guess I'll be going back to tell Ma about everything. Okie dokie. Alrighty, so... Um, there's two ways to go here, basically, if you go this way and you go here... And, holy crap, what the frick? Um, it's a shy guy on a cart, and it's pushing me, and I'm gonna die. No, it's okay. Um, there's no real point to that, but you get a frog coin. That's nice. Anyway, so now we can only go up, and avoid the ba-bombs here, or the ba-bombs. And here is a star, 
Forget it. Kill them with the bombs. Um, oh, but did that one seriously just commit suicide? Just jump down. What? What? Are they seriously committing suicide? What the heck? You saw that. Two of them just committed suicide like that. Anyway, so we level up here. Gino, level 7. Okay. Um, not that. Okay, that goes up by 6. Okay, HP. Anything else? Nope. Alright. Anyway, let's keep on going here. And like Moleville, there actually aren't any um, surprise boxes in here. Believe it or not, there aren't. There aren't any hidden blocks, so don't run around jumping everywhere if you... Oh, okay. Um, I don't think we fought these guys yet either. Um, right. Sparky, finger shot. Um, did I say that the timing is for Gino's thing? Basically, the timing for Gino's finger shot is you use it... You press A right as he sticks his hand out right, be uh, right before he... Um, right before the things start shooting out of it. Um, these things can be kind of weird. They do a lot of magic attacks, but they're not too bad. And, um, these... Yeah, when they do the Psyche attack, basically it's just them... It's, it's kind of like a suicide attack. And I don't think you get any coins or experience from them when they do that. Or maybe they do. Okay, it kind of looks like that you do. Anyway, level 8 now. Um, not that. Oh, maybe that. Oh, no, okay. Let's go with that. And Mallow, too. Yeah, Mario and Mallow are pretty much right equal with each other. Okay, probably that, yeah. Yeah, okay, let's go with that. Alright, let's keep on going here. Get some more coins. Alright, get the ball bomb out of the way and let's go. Okay, we have some ball bombs here. You can just jump over them if you want to. Um, there's a full heal mushroom in this block right here. The save block here. Uh, should I do this in this episode or not? Um, well, I guess I might as well. Yeah, sure. Alright. Okie dokie. So, oh, right here if you want to get the, the thing. Just jump. Jump. Here we go, and you get a flower. Anyway... Oh, crap. Okay, anyway, so up here you can actually see that there's a star piece here, and there's this guy here, and if you, um... If you just go up to him normally, basically he'll just shove you out of the way. Which is very rude, I guess we'll better go give him a good talking to, teach him some manners. So sneak up behind him instead. And this is the second chapter boss, his name is Punchinello. Good day. The name's Nello, Punchinello. Punchinello? Never heard of ya. They say I'm a hothead, but I'll show them. You, you will make me famous. So long. So I have no idea what he's talking about. Um, you could use Geno Beam here, but I, I think it, um, similar to Croco, it doesn't really do much better than his regular attacks, if I'm correct. Well, 78, that's pretty good. But what does work well against him is Mario's Super Jump. That's pretty much your best weapon against him. And, um, Mario, or not Mario, but Mallow's, um... Thunderbolt does a fairly good well not really but um it oh what oh okay I'm mistaken apparently Mario's jump does not do a good job on him okay let's just do uh the fire orb then okay so he throws out these bombs here and um to be honest with you um just ignore the bombs he basically brings out more anyway and you you're pretty much just best off ignoring them you could do Mallow's Thunderbolt and kill them all in one shot um and uh that would be okay, I guess, but I just ignore them. And actually, I was mistaken. Geno's Geno Beam is actually your best weapon in this fight. I thought it was Mario Super Jump, but it actually isn't. Um, as for Mallow, though, I'll just keep going with uh, his regular attacks. I think I'll do the same with Mario, too, just have him doing regular attacks. Yeah, you see these little bombs. They just, uh, they, they want HP of damage, so yeah, you can just ignore them. Anyway, so I guess, I don't know, how many of you guys actually have a 3DS? I was sort of thinking that the, the red one looks kind of cool. Like, I, I got myself a blue one, but I was just thinking, like, I don't know, if I had the chance, like, if, um, the red one was available when I, when I bought mine, I probably would have bought it, but it's definitely not worth, like, getting a second one. But, yeah, I think the red one does look cooler than the blue one, which is really a shame that they have to do that, that they have to release a cooler one, you know, fairly later. Anyway. Um, so these bigger bob they can kind of cause a bit more of a problem. You might want to get rid of these bigger guys with, with Mallow's Thunderbolt, but they do take more than one turn to take them out if you're using Thunderbolt. So I, I don't know, I sort of have mixed feelings with it, but I think for the most part, still just ignore them and just go in for the attacks for, um, to punch an Ello. And I probably should have equipped a Fearless Pin here, um, so that I could have well, not have been, been scared. Okay, um, Gino, you can just attack. I'll have Mallow doing the 
the healing here. Yeah, m if you ever have to choose, like I said, Mallow should be your designated healer, at least at this point in the game, because he has the worst um, attacking anyway, so it's kind of like, well, if anybody has to not be attacking, it's best for Mallow to be doing it. Anyway, so we'll keep going here with Geno's Geno Bean. Anyway, yeah, I kind of wish that I did have a red 3DS, but I don't know. Speaking of 3DSs, though, how many of you guys actually, like, have a 3DS and actually street pass people? Like, in the entire time that I've had my 3DS, I've, like, never street passed someone. I've only ever street passed two different people. Anyway, grr. Alright. It's clobbering time. Jeez, that doesn't sound familiar at all. Oh, Gino died. No. Oh, crap. Crap, crap, crap. Uh. Alright, Mario, you can, um... Uh. Well, you can pick up Gino, I guess. Pick-me-ups, not only do they, um, bring somebody back to life, but they also, um, they also bring them to full HP, which is nice. And Mallow, you can give Mario a mushroom. A mushy mushroom. Anyway, so once he brings out the big bob bombs okay, he ran out of FP. Cool. Um, I've never seen that happen to him before. You actually do see that. If you, like, take really long on a boss, you will actually see that they run out of FP, which is kind of funny, actually. Um, so we're almost done here. When you see that he pulls out the big bob bombs you know that he's almost done. Anyway, let's just finish him off here with Mallow. Oh. Well, I thought I called that, and I, apparently I didn't. Alright, Gino, finish him off. Oh, he's still not dead? Come on. Alright, Mario, finish him off. Don't, don't do that. Mallow, finish him off with, with your symbols. Okay, here we go. Arg. I must be dreaming. I'm ruined. I didn't want to do this, but now I have no choice. Uh, I think he's bluffing. Simmer down, Fluffy. I'm not gonna waste this on you. What knows you might have? Take your best shot. Enough. I've got my pride. Now you're in for it. I don't know what kind of voice that is, but... Huh? What the hey? Why isn't it working? Uh, holy crap, what kind of... Uh, anyway. Mario, if this thing explodes, we're history. This is a fine mess. Let's scram, now. Yeah, I think we should scram. So on that note, I will see you next time on Let's Play Super Mario RPG, where we'll see if we scram or not, um, or get blown to pieces. See you then.